a very good morning class 12 so today i'm going to start with a new chapter and the name of the chapter is the rebellion by george orwell it tells the story of a group of farm animals who rebel against their human farmer hoping to create a society where the animals can be equal free and happy ultimately the rebellion is betrayed and the farm ends up in a state as bad as it was before under the dictatorship of a pig named napoleon so let's get started with the story the book opens with old major calling a meeting of all the animals in the big barn he announces that human beings are the sole reasons that animals in england are enslaved they must overthrow mankind in a great rebellion then he declares that all men are enemies all animals are comrades old major dies a few nights later and the other animals prepare for the rebellion under the leadership of snowball napoleon and squiller one night mr jones passes out drunk and neglects to feed the animals napoleon they are so hungry that they who break into a communist tyrant and then squiller mr jones is a porker pig the farm. who is napoleon talented and the art of argument and a complete system of represents the propaganda machine of a totalitarian they reduce its principles to jones seven is a man commandments who owns they are the land one that has taken over by his animals upon he represents two a corrupt government and pilkington is a man and to the owner of another farm that is large four legs or has wings as a friend three no animal shall wear clothes four no animal shall sleep in a bed five no animal shall drink alcohol six no animal shall kill any other animal seven all animals are equal soon after their first harvest is a great success each animal works according to his ability and gets a fair share of food every sunday snowball and napoleon who are the most intelligent of the animals lead a meeting in the big barn but napoleon opposes all of snowball's ideas the sheep not intelligent enough to memorize the seven commandments chant a single maxim four legs good two legs bad as time goes by the pigs increase their control over the animals and avoid themselves increasing proof just as the human master once did they quell the animals questions and protests by threatening mr jones return during this time napoleon also confiscates nine newborn puppies 
and secludes them in a loft in order to educate them into becoming fiercely loyal to only him. Soon, Mr. Jones and the other farmers try to recapture Animal Farm, but fail. The animals celebrate their victory in what they call the Battle of the Cowshed. Afterwards, the animals agree to let the pigs make all the resolutions. Snowball and Napoleon continue to be at odds and eventually clash over the prospect of building a windmill. Snowball believes it will shorten the work week and provide the farm electricity, but Napoleon opposes it. Napoleon summons the nine puppies he trains now, fierce dogs, to run snowball off the farm at this point. Boxer, the horse, takes on his own personal maxims. I will work harder and Napoleon is always right. Soon, Napoleon announces plans to build the windmill, claiming that it was his idea all along, rewriting history, building the windmill forces the animals to work harder on Sundays as the animals are short on food and supplies. Napoleon opens up trade with the human world, which makes the other animals uneasy. Through Squiller, Napoleon lies to the animals about the shortages and begins to hoard what little there is for himself. He enlists Wimper to be his intermediary for trade with humans. Then the pigs move into the farmhouse and began sleeping in beds, contrary to the fourth commandment. Then one night, strong winds destroy the unfinished windmill. Napoleon blames Snowball and sentences the expelled pig to death. As conditions become worse on Animal Farm, Napoleon deceives the human world into thinking it is prospering. He signs a sales contract with humans for a quota of 400 eggs per week, inciting a rebellion of overworked hens that results in several deaths. Soon, after Napoleon holds an assembly in which he makes several animals confessed to treachery and then has the dogs execute them. The dogs tried to get Boxer to confess but leave him alone when they cannot overpower him. Napoleon arbitrarily changes another commandment to read. No animal shall kill any other animal. Without cause, Squiller tries to convince the animals that production is increasing. Napoleon seldom appears in public, but Squiller paints his portrait on another barn wall. The animals now call him our leader, comrade Napoleon. They attribute all misfortunes to Snowball and all success to Napoleon. At last, the windmill is finished and named Napoleon Mill. Soon after Napoleon announces that he will sell 
timber to Frederick, the cruel owner of the Etchison farm, who pays for the timber in fake cash. The next morning, Frederick and his men invade the farm and blow up the windmill. The animals chase the humans off. The many died or are injured in what they call the Battle of the Windmill. After the battle, the pigs discover a case of whiskey in the farmhouse. They drink to excess squiller, then report that Napoleon is dying. And as his last action has made the consumption of alcohol punishable by death, but Napoleon recovers quickly and learns to brew alcohol. Squiller changes another commandment to no animal shall drink alcohol to excess. Napoleon. Plans to build a schoolhouse for the thirty-one young pigs. He is parented while continuing to afford himself special privileges. He spreads propaganda to distract the animals from inequality and hardship. He creates special spontaneous demonstrations in which the animals march around and celebrate their trumps. Napoleon declares the farm a republic and is elected unanimously as president. The animals continue to work feverishly most of all boxer one day boxer collapses while overexerting himself napoleon promises to send him to the veterinarian but instead turns him over to be slaughtered after boxer dies napoleon promises to honor him with a special Banquet, but the pigs used the money from his slaughter to buy a case of whiskey and then get drunk instead. Years go by, and though animal farms' population increases, only a few animals remember the rebellion conditions. Are still harsh, despite technological improvements. One. Day Squiller teaches the sheep to chant four legs good, two legs better. As the pigs walk around the yard on their hind legs, the other animals are horrified. The seven commandments. Have also been replaced with a single maxim: all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. The pigs continue awarding themselves more privileges. Napoleon holds a conciliatory banquet. For the farmers, announces that the animals will call each other comrade no longer, and declares that symbols of the rebellion will be stripped from the farm's flag as the other animals peer through the windows to watch the humans and pigs play poker. They cannot. Distinguish between them.